that brings to mind hummingbirds in the winter. And mm -hmm. you always say, keep feeding them mm -hmm. throughout the winter, too, because yeah. you kind of forget that hummingbirds mm -hmm. are even here or d in the United States at all during, yeah. the, um, during the winter. Yeah, we were early into a program of looking for winter hummingbirds. The old wives' tale was you have to take your feeders, that hummingbird feeders down now or before now so the birds won't stay here and freeze to death. Uh, I don't care how many feeders you put out, they're not going to stay here. They're going to leave. That's what they're programmed to do. They don't wait till the food runs out to leave. So don't worry about right. taking your feeders down so they'll migrate. They know when to migrate. What you don't know, what you didn't know until recently through some of the research that's been going on, a lot of it here in the southeast, is that a lot of the birds that aren't here in the breeding season, our ruby throats are headed south. In the western states, most of those birds head south, and they have more species out there than we do. However, some of the species in the west don't go south. They come east, and they're here in the wintertime. And do they freeze to death? A lot of times, no. They survive. What do they eat? Well, again, contrary to popular opinion, hummingbirds don't live on nectar. There's no protein in the really? nectar. It's just energy. It's just sugar water. Yeah. They like it because they have a very high metabolism, but they don't live on nectar. They live on insects. Oh, okay. Hummingbirds mainly eat insects. A lot of little spiders, gnats, small insects, that's what they eat. That's their protein. That's their building uh, blocks uh, and their nutrition. The nectar is a nice snicker bar for energy. Yeah. It helps power them. There's not as much nectar in the wintertime. Although, if you look at sapsucker holes, sapsuckers are a small woodpecker type mm -hmm. bird that drills all those little holes in trees. You'll mm -hmm. see little rows of them. They drill that and wait for the sap to run out. Sap has sugar content, like a sugar maple. Yeah. You knock a hole in it, it comes out, it has a lot of sugar content. Mm -hmm. So they've learned to tap these little holes mm -hmm. and eat the sugar. Hummingbirds have been seen going to those same holes. Yeah. So they'll find a little bit. They find a way. Yeah. All these birds find a way because they've been here longer than we have, and they're still alive, so they know how to do it. Yeah. It seems miraculous how they do it. It really does. They get by. Yeah. I always think, you know, when, when it's cold, do they, like, roost together and find warmth with each other? Some do. Mm -hmm. Some do. I don't think most of them do. Uh, one of the best examples I can think of is bluebirds mm -hmm. in a bluebird box. They, they breed, they have their young, and they're out of the box. They don't live in the box. However, on cold nights, birds can be seen going back into these things. The birds that are still in the territory, mm -hmm. they haven't moved around. We think some of the bluebirds that are in the southeast in the wintertime have moved down from up north, and they'll move back. Not a true migration, but they do move around. And they'll go into these boxes, and some people reported seeing 10 or 12 bluebirds in one box. Wow. And they just come filing out the next day. I I've seen two or three. Yeah. I've never seen that many. I'd love to see that many in a box. But they, so they gather together for warmth. Uh, there's a, uh, most of them just find a place in a tree and hunker down, generally low from what I've seen. Some of them up high. It's how do they survive on cold nights with a 20 mile an hour wind and it's four degrees outside? Yeah. I don't know, but they, wow. they do it. They're very good. They've got a good metabolism. They know how to keep their heat up. As long as they can get some food, they can metabolize their fat very quickly, much quicker mm -hmm. than we can. Uh, like a hummingbird moving south can metabolize 20% of its weight in a few days on the trip down. Wow. Or maybe 30% yeah. or even 40% of its weight. They'll drop from five, five and a half grams down to two and a half grams on a trip. Wow. And then immediately Using, when they that's get fuel there, tank. I guess they just they fill up settle as fast down as they and start can. eating. Yeah. Same thing when they come up to the North America mm -hmm. in the spring, they they start eating, getting to the breeding grounds. Mm -hmm. They are much lower weight. Yeah. When we see them moving out of the United States, headed south, they're much higher weight. Yeah. They fattened up. They're getting ready for the trip. Yeah. And like I said, they can metabolize that heat, that fat, very quickly, into energy. And our other birds can do that also. Yeah.